Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time I'd like to go back to uh, iRay to see some tips and tricks to be uh, more productive with this powerful rendering engine. You know that uh, iRay in 3ds Max is available for free. It is not completely uh, compatible with uh, the other uh, feature inside 3ds Max, but we have a lot of features that can be used. Let's imagine, for example, if we like to uh, illuminate something using a high ray. Uh, let's go to open, for example, a scene I done before, and we can use the usual 3D model of the car I prepared. We can remove all the lighting, and we'll use a map to illuminate using a background and we'll see uh, how it will be uh, uh, useful to play uh, let's go in a perspective to play with uh, this rendering engine let's remove other objects and let's remove all lights to remove all lights we can go there and we can make a selection just for lighting let's remove it uh, we can put just an omni light and we set to off so we have no lighting inside the scene and if I try to render it now it will be black so we need an environment map you see that there we have an HDR map uh, let's clear and for the moment we can stay without the exposure control and we can pick a bitmap and we go inside the 3ds max maps let's go there for autodesk 3ds max uh, let's go there maps and we have the hdr maps but you can use whatever uh, other kind of maps is not a problem uh, let's see what we have we can use this one the outside okay and then we need the material editor we can reset to have all the shaders ready there and free and we can make an instance copying this map there so uh, we have to say to use a spherical environment and now we can try to render let's go for a lower resolution no saving okay uh, let's go for iterations maybe just 50 iterations so really fast and let's try to render it is uh, baking the texture for the environment and then it will start you see now it is preparing the texture and then it will start uh, to render the scene and it will use the HDR map to, uh, to illuminate the car okay you see that now it is illuminated by we can maybe go a little bit near to the car obviously the main issue is that we have no shadows on the ground and uh, uh, the matte shadow shader is not compatible with uh, iRay and we have another big problem uh, the main problem is that we have the map on the background and uh, we have no access to the shader from Mentor Ray to give us the possibility to choose a map for uh, the background and a map for the reflection and a map for the illumination so uh, you see that we have obviously the, uh, the alpha channel so we can do something uh, just removing the map but uh, you know that for example the alpha will be multiplied over the background color and that's not good so if we like to have no background we have no possibility there for the moment on uh, IRA to make something but uh, a really interesting thing is that all the feature we need are inside IRA the main problem is that actually we have no access from 3ds max directly from the interface but we can use 
some uh, hidden feature to access to them. Uh, then there is another possibility. Uh, we talked about it uh, before, and it's really simple. And it's talking about the IRA manager. It is a script, and you see that's the link to download it, that gives us the possibility to access to some hidden feature using the IRA string option. And you see that we have something that will work with the background. So we have to download this utility and we have to install it and see how it works to uh, have the mud ground with the shadows and removing the, uh, the objects on the back. So you have just to click over download, then you see that we have to drag and drop the script in, into Max or we can also use the run script. So uh, let's do in this way, so Max script, run script, and I go in the folder where I placed, you see there, IRA manager. Okay, then let's see uh, what we have to do. We have to go inside the customize menu, customize user interface, so customize, customize user interface. Okay, we have it. Then it is asking to select the toolbar tab and select you can do it via fixed tutorial uh, um, category. So there. But if we don't like to have it uh, inside the toolbar, we can drag and drop it over there. And you see now we have access to all the options. You know that we talked before about uh, how it works and you know that we have the possibility to access to the resource so we can decide to use the CPU or TPU. And you see that we can decide also how many GPU we can use. And you see that we can render from there or we can render also from the IRA manager because we have there the uh, render button. So uh, if we use the array manager, we are just uh, setting some uh, some string option to have access to more feature. So uh, let's wait for the baking and we'll see how it works. Let's wait for the baking. Okay, you see that everything works as before. Let's cancel. And you see that actually it is using the uh, use map there, you see. So uh, what we can do is a really simple thing. And I mean, we can go there and set this option. You see that we have color override. <coughs> Sorry. So that's an override to say which color we like to use as, as background and still use the map to make the illumination. Let's say that we like to use the, the black. Now we can set render. Then we have to wait for the uh, normal uh, operation we, we have to prepare the render. Let's wait. You see that it is still preparing. And then you see that we have the right reflection over the car, the right illumination made by the HDR, and then we have just the black color for the environment. And that's a really simple way to achieve this result. Another interesting thing we can have is the shadows, because you know that we have no access to the uh, matte shadows. So you see that there we have the ground, matte ground, and we have the possibility to move 
the zeta ground, you see that we have something inside the scene just to have a feedback and let's say that zero will be perfect oh, okay, something like that and you see that we have then the reflection and the shadows let's see the shadows that are the, the best thing we can use you see ground shadows and then we can go there render and let's see if we have the shadows over the ground and over the map obviously so let's wait obviously you can use also the color over right when you are using the ground shadows but for the moment I prefer to see the shadows directly over the ground map we are using let's wait maybe in a future tutorial we can uh, uh, hope to have all the access to this feature but for the moment this script is really useful to avoid the needs to work with a, uh, directly uh, with a string option manually inside the max script we are in the baking and it's over and you see that we have again the environment but we have also the shadows over the map and you can see it there you see that we have the shadows created by the uh, map and that's really amazing so uh, that's the simplest way to work uh, to switch the background the reflection map the illumination map and also to work with the matte shadows and matte reflection so uh, it was just a tip to see how to work with iRay to obtain some stuff that can be really simple to be done using Mentor Ray. And I can say that for the moment that's all. And I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.